Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel and today uh nakiki oh. So welcome back to my channel. So nakikita niyo naman based on the title. This is my first ever official first ever that was official first vlog for 2021 and it will be all about me. <laughs> Here is 25 facts about me that you may want to know. Oh, I guess. Let's start. So, may code ko lang tayo para mas maganda yung flow nung vlog. It's my first time. Please uh, give me time to adjust. First one is, my full name is Kenneth Jesmar Pasi. So, saan kinuha yung uh, first name ko? So, Kenneth came from my lolo and lola's names, which is Cecilio and Nenita. So, paano naging Kenneth yung Cecilio and Nenita? May business kasi silang dalawa. It was named Senet. It's from Cecilio and Nenet. And then, their first grandson is of course, that's me. Yun. In, lalaki kasi. Kaya, yun. Ang pinangala nila sa akin. Instead of a letter C, they changed it to letter K. And instead of TTE, they changed it to TH. So, from Senet to Kenneth. And then, uh, Jesmar, since I was born on the 8th of December, that is the Immaculate Conception Day, and since my Lola is a passionate Catholic, pinangalan niya akong Jesmar, which stood for Jesus and Mary. So that's a first to find fact about me. And one more thing is, mas gusto kong tinatawag akong Jesmar, kasi feeling ko mas unique yun kesa sa Kenneth. Kasi mas maraming may pangalan ng Kenneth kesa sa Jesmar. Mas gusto ko lang talaga yung Jesmar. So if you want to call me, you can call me Jesmar. And my friends also call me Jesmar. So are my fam. <laughs> Very thumbnail yun. Second fun fact about me is that I graduated at the University of Northern Philippines in Pagan City. So I took Bachelor of Science in Computer Science at the College of Communication and Information Technology. And fortunately, di naman sa pagmamayabang, pero we graduated with flying colors. Currently, or not currently, I took units at Don Mariana Marcos Memorial State University for my Master's in Information Technology but yung pagtutuloy ng kurso nasa... Ewan ko <laughs> kung itutuloy natin na yun doon. Pero we'll see kung ano yung ibibigay sa atin ni Lord na plano. Pero as of today, wala pa naman ako plano na ituloy yung course. I'm so sorry po pero yun talaga yung fact. So third, third! <laughs> So the third fun fact about me is that I used to teach and yes, I was a teacher. Ito mukhang to, nagturo. Kalain nyo, after graduation, I immediately applied in different institutions and universities across Ilocosur and Ilocos Norte. And fortunately, UNP has been kind to me and they have hired me to become a faculty member of the university. I taught IT, computer science, computer technology, and also I have also experienced teaching in high school and senior high school. Pero ngayon, hindi na ako nagtuturo kasi mas nagpo-focus na ako sa pag-manage ng family business namin which is making acrylic awards. Masaya naman, but my first time was opening our second branch at the city of Lawag. And ngayon, due to the pandemic, ito ako, nagbablog. <laughs> hindi pa naman ako makapasok kasi ng Ilocos Norte. So, hindi ko mag-visit yung shop natin doon. Gaya ng sinasabi ko in my past vlogs sa On The Road, sobrang hirap naman ng situation ngayon. Tsaka masyadong mahal yung mga testing-testing. Kaya, eto, nagbablog muna and then uh, binabantayan ko yung shop namin dito sa Bikan. Fourth one is, I drink water. Then, I drink very, very, very light. Hindi ba ako nakatikin ng Red Horse, Dipila, 
kahit anong hardcore na drinks. Ang iniinom ko lang is San Midlight. Usually kasi pag umiinom, after that, nagdadrive pa ako. Ayaw kong nakainom na nagdadrive. You know that? Lagi kong sinasabi during on the roads, be a responsible driver. And that is me, being a responsible driver. Ayaw kong mag drink and drive. Number five, I literally love writing. So, gusto gusto ko yung magsulat. When I was in elementary, when I was in high school, when I was in college, I always joined student publications. So, I was a sports writer, I was a photojournalist, I was a cultures writer also. I also write about culture. And then, yun, hanggang sa naging mataas na yung mga posisyon natin sa buhay. <laughs> so, yun. I love writing. And up until now, nag-write pa rin ako. And also, since itong vlogging ay bagong way to vlog, ayan, nagsusulat din naman tayo ng scripts. Pero, yun lang. May video na siya. Pero, if you if you would like to read some of my vlogs, you can visit this link here. I will be putting that in the description. So, you can read my vlogs there. So, sobrang konti pa lang kasi naging busy ako. Uh, so, yun. Hindi na ako nakapag upload ng mga vlogs. Pero I'll try. Kasi meron na tong vlogging. Try kong isabay yung vlogging. Try kong sabay lahat. Kailangan. Dami natin gustong gawin sa buhay. Okay? Number six is that's six. Six? Six. Six! 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 So, number six is my zodiac sign is a Sagittarius. So, that means masayang ko lang dito. I can be extremely violent or wise, either brave or mild. So, additional, astrology says that as an archer, Sagittarius is said never to fail in hitting the mark. And this depiction alludes to the power of prophecy. Hence, the claim to seers and prophets are born in this sign. Talaga ba? So, yun. Uh, I was born in December, like what I've said a while back on the 8th of December. That's why I'm a Sagittarius. I don't know if it already moved because my bagong zodiac sign at that. And I don't know, but for me, I'm still Sagittarius. Seven, I can only speak one dialect and two national languages. And since I'm from the Philippines, uh, kaya kong mag-speak ng Filipino, which is, which is the national language of the Philippines. And of course, since we're Filipinos, we are very fluent in speaking in English, kahit hindi naman magaling sa grammar. Anyways, and also the dialect that I can speak is Ilocos, since I am from Ilocos. Eight, I'm a giver by nature. Kung mabait ka sa akin, mas mabait ako sa'yo twice as much. So, do no harm, take no yeah, something like that. Number nine. Nine. I am obsessed with city building games. So currently, I am playing City Skyline. So I, I'm, I have been playing that game for almost two or three years now. And I na start now as mga simulation games like uh, Prison Architect, Project Hospital, and Airport CEO. So yun yung mga currently na nilalaro ko. <laughs> Number 10, 10, 10, 10, number 10, number 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So the 10th fact about me is that I love eating chickens. Any dish that has chicken on it, I can eat. As long as there's a limitation. As long as it is not spicy. Kasi ayaw ko sa maanghang. That's cool. Pero kahit ano, basta manok, I'm gonna eat that. 11. So, I am more active at night than day. I don't know why, pero ngayon, tinatry kong i-shift yung body clock ko na maging mas active ako sa umaga kaysa sa gabi. Kasi nga, due to business reasons, kailangan mo makipag-transact sa mga party people sa umaga kaysa sa gabi. Kasi, syempre, uh, night time is family time. Pero, I don't know. Pero, yun. Magaling ako magpuyat minsan. Magaling magpuyat minsan. Cut mo yun. <laughs> Ito na-try kong i-shift yung body clock ko from night time to morning para at least mas maging productive tayo in terms of handling the business and eto, yung gawin ko itong mga ganitong bagay. So, yun. 
Number 12 is that I like watching movies rather than reading books. So I don't like reading. I love writing but I don't like reading books, okay? I don't like reading huge books. Mas gusto kong pinapanood. Kasi yung babasahin ko ng isang taon, mapapanood ko ng dalawang oras. And sorry kung hindi ako bookish. I guess differences ng iba't ibang tao yun. Pero kung movie, G. Number 13. I don't know how to save money. Alam mo yung feeling na kapag meron kang hawak, gusto mong i- ah! <laughs> Yun, Hindi ko alam kung paano mag-save ng money. Pero ngayon, try ko naman mag-save. So, yung salary ko for the last semester nung nag-part-time ako sa UNP. So, try ko yung i-save. Though, a quarter of it is na gastos ko na kasi I needed to buy a something that I need I really need okay so don't judge me but you can judge I'm trying to save I'm trying to know how to spend less yung nag spend ka pa rin naman yung mga gusto mo pero hindi ka na yung ganon ka excessive na mag spend ng money mo number 14 is I grew up having less so I didn't have much. Yun siguro yung reason kung bakit na ngayon, kung meron ako, nag spend ako ng, sa mga bagay na gusto kong bilhin. Kasi siguro nung bata ako, hindi ko kasi yun magawa. Kasi hindi naman kami ganun kayaman. Up until now, hindi naman kami ganun ka-rich. Pero we can afford things na. And since ngayon, I'm striving to earn. Kasi gusto ko sa mga future kids namin with my girlfriend ah. <laughs> so, gusto ko yung with my future kids ayaw ko yung mapipil nila yung napil ko noon na you can't buy this kasi wala tayong pera ayaw ko noon ah, hindi naman sa pag spoil sa kanila may limitations pa rin naman pero I want them to have what they can have hindi yung hindi ko yun may bibigay kasi hindi ko kayang ibigay Fun fact number 15. So, hindi ako marunong lumangoy. <laughs> Pero gustong-gusto kong pumunta sa, pumunta sa beach, pumunta sa pool. Gustong-gusto ko sa water. Pero hindi ako talaga marunong lumangoy. One time, pumunta kami ng Sinait. That was the Dalakitin. Floating cottages. Kung pumunta kami doon, malalim yung cove. Oh my, malalim siya. Hindi ako makakapag-spin. Hindi ako makakapunta sa tubig. Baka sa shore lang ako. Tapos, hindi rin pala ako pwede sa shore. Kasi nga, nasa floating cottage ka. So, nasa gitna ka ng dagat. Hindi naman literal na gitna. Kasi you can control kung saan ka uh, mag-stay. Good thing that they have life jackets. Or life vests. Life vests. So, yun. Naka-life vest kami. So, pampatibay lang ng loob. Para hindi ka, hindi ka lumubog doon sa, sa dagat. So yun, hindi talaga ako marunong lumang. Hindi mag-floating nga eh. Pero pagalingan tayo sa sinking, tiyak mananalo ako. <laughs> Number 16. Ito napaka-harsh ng fact na ito. Pero I hate people na nag-chuchu, na rinig na rinig yung talagang sineshare niya na nagchuchu siya. Tsaka yung nagchuchu na open yung mouth. Kaya ito ako. Oh. ASMR. Ganun. I hate those kind of people. Siguro dahil pinalaki ako ng lolo at lola. Tapos every time. Ito yung harsh part. Every time na ganun ako kumain noon. Meron. May ganun. May ganon, may slap sa mouth. Then, yun, hanggang sa nasanay ako to chew my food with my mouth closed. Ah, ang harsh nung pack na yun, pero I guess it's being decent as a uh, human being in front of the table. Tama? Kasi pangit naman kapag pinaparinig mo sa buong sambayanan na ikaw ang mumumuya ng pagkain mo. <laughs> Number 17, what I look for girls is smart, family-oriented, 
and someone who can handle me at my worst. And I believe na nahanap ko na siya. Sabi nga dito sa vlog ko. And I found her. I believe na nahanap ko na siya. Okay? So, eto. Aha. Di ba? <laughs> every time na may problema ako, every time na nag ako about sa mga problems ko in life, so nandyan lagi siya para makinig. Nandyan lagi siya uh, to support me and to give me advices. Ayan. So, siya na yung forever po. Number 18. I am fascinated with long drives. I, lo I love to drive far. Pero, unfortunately, hindi ako pinapayagan ni Papa. <laughs> Payagan mo na mag-drive ng malayo. Please, hindi niya ako pinapayagan. Kasi feeling na hindi ko kaya. Mawawala ako. Madidiscrash ako. Pa, I'm 26. <laughs> Anyways, gusto kong, gusto kong mag-long drives. 19. I love sleeping. <laughs> Gusto <laughs> gusto ko matulog. Ako yung laging late na nagigising dito sa bahay. And I always have my breakfast alone. Sometimes ko lang sila nakakaharap sa breakfast. Pero usually, talagang ako lang. Huwag isa lang ako sa breakfast. Kasi ngang late kong magising. Kasi gusto mo sa matulog. And nung isik you, tulog is live. You know? Yung gigising ka, tapos kakain ka, tapos konting work. And then, Kakain ka ulit, then tulog, then kain, then tulog, repeat. <laughs> so yun, I love sleeping. That, that's why yung easy to enjoy ko na lang. Number 20. My biggest fear is insects. I hate insects. They're freaking creepy. From the smallest one to the biggest ones. Mapaipis man yan, mapa... Insect mang lizard. Basta, I, I don't like lizards. I don't like insects. I also don't like frogs. I don't like those animals. I'm so sorry. I know that you don't like me too, but we don't like each other. <laughs> so that's okay. Number 21. I'm a fast learner. Madali ako mag-cope up sa mga bagay-bagay. And visual learner din ako. May binabasa ako kanina lang kung paano mo masasabi na ikaw ay isang visual learner. And halos lahat nun, naka-check ako. Kung visual, visually, na pinapakita mo sa akin yung isang bagay, madali ko lang yan tandaan. Lalo na sa directions. Kung visually na nakikita ko, madali ko lang yan maintindihan. Unlike yung, kunyari, ganito. Kuya, saan po yung 7-Eleven? Di ba, kakanan ka. Tapos, didiretso ka. Tapos, kakanan ka ulit. Kumanan ako. Oh, kumanan ka. Dumiretso ako. Oh, dumiretso ka. Tapos, kumanan ako. Oh. Like, what? No. I don't know that. Mas gusto ko pa yung tingnan na lang yung uh, direction sa Google Maps kesa sa magtanong ako sa mga iba't ibang tao. Kasi hindi ko alam kung paano ko, paano ako makakarating kung kakanan, kakaliwa. And I don't even know what is kanan and kaliwa. Okay? 22. My biggest insecurity as of today is my teeth. Kasi meron akong Sumi? Sumi ba tawag doon? Yung seta. So, I have a tip. That is inside. So, yun. Insecure na insecure ako doon. But, I'm trying to learn how to love my insecurities. Kasi, that's just me. Pwede ko naman siyang ipabrace. Pero, ayaw ko. Baka mawala na yung... Di ba? <laughs> 23. I love Spider-Man. Not all the Spider-Man movies, but the ones where Tom Holland is the main actor. Simula nung si Tom Holland yung nagis Spider-Man. Gusto ng gusto ko na manood ng Spider-Man. So from Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, and the third Spider-Man No Way Home. I'm I love Spider-Man. And simula nung pinanood ko yung Spider-Man ni Tom Holland from Homecoming. So, rinay ko na rin para masundan ko yung story ng Marvel, ng MCU. So, rinay ko na rin hanapin yung pinakauna na movie nila from Marvel up until the last. And literally, pinanood ko lahat yun para follow ko yung storyline. I love Spider-Man. Out of context lang, uh, I also like watching The Crown. Nalaman ko lang 
napaka-outdated ko na ha, meron pa lang The Crown nung nag-trending yung kay Imelda. Okay? Nung, nung minention ng The Crown yung kay Imelda Marcos and the shoes. So, yun. Nung nalaman ko yun, so, I look for The Crown, nag- kumingin ako mga traders, then, ah, I love it. It's all about the royal family. And, uh, a fictional series about the royal family. So, yun. Pinanood ko. Recently lang, actually, uh, I started uh, February or January. So, yun. Pinanood ko yung The Crown. And, it's good. No, it's not good. It's excellent. It's uh, parang way and beyond. Parang ang ganda ng pagkakagawa nila ng series. Although sinasabi nila ng fiction. Pero when you research some some things about what happened, did this really happen? Did that really happen? And yun, magpapakita naman lahat sa mga history, historical sites natin. So yun, I love the crown. So is Scorpion. <laughs> Nag-share na ako ng napakadaming series. Watch here. You, you can watch also Scorpion. Maganda din yung Scorpion from CBS. Nainggan lang din ako. Kaso, bitin na bitin ako. Kasi hindi na raw sila maglalabas uh, ng season 5. And yung pinakalas episode ng Scorpion is sobrang nakakabitin. At least man lang maglabas kayo ng Centipede na season. Tama? Centipede, please. CBS 24. I also want to have my own business. So, gusto ko rin naman magkaroon ng sarili kong business. Kasi nga, itong business na minamanage namin ngayon is uh, kay Papa. So, yun. Gusto ko rin naman magkaroon ng sarili kong business na nakapangalan sa akin, na ako yung mismong lead na nagmamanage. So, gusto ko yun. Kaso, hindi pa ako naka, nakaisip ng exact na business na inline sa gusto ko na passion ko yon, na gusto kong gawin yon, gusto kong bantayan yon, na hindi ako magsasawa doon. So, ang dami kasi i-consider kapag magtatayo ka ng business mo. Hindi pwedeng, ah, gusto ko ng ganito ngayon, and then after some time, parang mabobore ka na lang kasi hindi mo naman talaga siya hilig. So, yun. Pinag-iisipan ko pa kung magandang business. And, syempre, mag-iipon muna tayo na malaki-laking capital. So, kahit an- para kahit anong business, kaya natin umpisahan. And, the last fun fact about me is, I don't have any talents. I cannot sing. I cannot dance. Yung mga TikTok dances ko, napaka-stiff ko. Hindi ko alam. Kakanta ako sobrang out of tune. Baka mas malala pa kay kung sino mang Poncho Pilato yung bosses ko. But, I can manage a team. That's a talent, I guess. Not. It's a skill. Right? I can manage a team and I can write. I can edit videos. No, I cannot edit videos. Basic editing lang ako. And it's a skill. And writing is also, I think it's a skill also. I can't even do public speaking. So, you so sad. Wala akong talent. Pero mali nyo, danceries na ako soon sa TikTok. <laughs> Those are 25 fun facts. <laughs> I hope it's fun about me. Ayan, so, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And it's my first time. Please adjust. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to end this video. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button there. <laughs> you can also subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on my different social media accounts. That is right over, I guess here or here. What's a here? Cheers!